Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast on and slash YouTube video. Today I am actually outside in the backyard. It is a really beautiful day and the birds are singing like crazy. Feels like they're having a little concert. Um, although it's amazing, I feel a little bit of sadness within myself because I I know I have to learn to let go and that things are gonna get hard over time but I will become stronger which ultimately will help me throughout that journey um, and then it will be a little bit easier to you know to overcome those uh, obstacles that are gonna be on my way and honestly that's just hard it is hard to think about that because how do you know like how much or uh you have to keep going or if the path that you're taking is the one the right one and lately i've been asking myself this question and i started to pretty much see if the the things that i was doing was helping me with my main goal you know and they are and although i'm realizing that my I am on the right path because what I'm doing is aligned with what the future that I want. I still feel a little bit of doubt when things happen that make me question that. And I guess, yeah, that is normal and that's just part of it. And I just need to like, you know, be okay with it and feel the pain, feel whatever it comes along with it. But it's painful. And it's like, why? You know? And it's like I understand as well that you have to feel pain to feel the joy of not being in pain. You know what I mean? And like that there is a bunch of different emotions that are equally as important and are okay. But, you know, we have, I've been getting used to the idea of like I always have to be happy. I always have to know if I'm satisfied with this or not. And I think I focused so much on that that I didn't let myself really be sad completely. Like, I was sad, but I wasn't aware of it. And I tried to ignore the fact of why am I sad? And I'm coming to the realization as well that there is a reason why you feel the way that you do. So you just have to sit with yourself and see what's the reasoning of that. And figure out if there's something that you can control and if you can then do something about it if not then don't beat yourself up because you're doing fine waking up every single day and doing the bare minimum is already a ton as a human being you know and there's always that little boys inside of you that, that that tells you how uncapable you you might be although you don't is it true mm, like we are learning we are failing at things but that's part of the process you have to fail you have to feel pain you have to go through hardships to like get better you know and like see better and understand and appreciate things more and that's something that I am trying to really learn because I'm not very patient. I'm not. And I feel like I'm always rushing through things because I don't know how to really be patient. And what does it really mean to be patient? You know, and that's something that I, I need to like literally made up, make a priority because I'm struggling with that. Like, it's really hard. It's really hard to be patient. And I don't think people understand how hard it is. But it is. Because some people are just born with it. They're just born with patience. And I'm like, how the heck do you do that? You know? So, I don't know. It's weird. Because then it makes you question, like, like, what is wrong with me? You know? But in reality, there's nothing wrong with you. You're just that and you can everything it's you can learn everything and anything i mean look at the saying i don't remember the saying exactly but it's like like you can teach any old dog a trick a new trick and it's like 
we are all capable of learning no matter how old we are or how much of of you know of of what we have of things that we have gone through and like I really feel like something is happening in my life that is with like it's literally switching to something else and I'm not sure exactly what that is but I have an idea and it's making sense I just need to remind myself that it it, it will make sense there is a reasoning for everything um and sometimes the reasoning is that there is no reasoning. <laughs> like some things are just have to, we just have to like fill them as they are. Like that's just like if it's tragic, like it is tragic. Like you know what I mean. Like you can't force it to be something else that it's not. It's like if something is not for you, it's not for you. And maybe they already taught you a lesson, and that was the lesson that. You know, that not everything is going to be what you want, you know. Um, And you won't be, you know, maybe you're not with the right person. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's always going to be, you know, um, something that you can gain for that relationship or that friendship or that, yeah, just relationship in general. Like, because it wasn't... it wasn't a waste of time. It wasn't. Like there's some there's a lot of value within that. And you overcame it. And maybe you are a new person now or even a stronger one. Um but it's okay. Just let it go. Let it be. You will reach that part of yourself where you sit down and understand that you are in the right path like you truly are again you you can't really see it right now because it doesn't make sense but it will eventually and then you will be grateful that it happened the way it did like i'm not gonna lie i get sad a lot and i overthink and it's hard for me to sometimes it's hard for me to sometimes to to see that somebody's bad for me or that they're hurting me because in my mind i can never think they're doing something bad you know like they you know my mind, just like they didn't mean to or you know they didn't know but You don't, you know, you don't, if you already, if you figure out that somebody's not good for you, you have to let go. I know it's hard. I know it's very hard. I haven't figured it out. But I just know that it helped me understand who I am. Because I had to get myself out of that comfort zone and really explore out there what was that I was so scared of doing or what the outcome might have been. Like, I just feel like you, we just need to let ourselves be completely and, and be vulnerable. Like, that's something that I'm struggling with. I'm, I can be very vulnerable at times, you know, and like, I just, I guess it's, I'm just honest. And I can see us born of what, you know. And I wish people were more honest about their emotions and their actions. And, and like, just say, yes, I am hurt. I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't know what to do. And that's okay. That's okay. I really... I think in the moment that I really sat down with myself and 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 saw well, everything that was wrong with my life and all the amazing things that were right, I was like, "That's just this is just life. Like, th- it is what it is. Like, you can't. Like, every part of it was important for the character development. 
because I am the woman that I am because everything that happened the good the bad the so you know so so like it's okay things are the way that they are and cry about it talk about it write about it just do anything that will let yourself release that because that's energy this is energy that we're that just gets kept on sorry in our body like i was crying intensively the other day where i my body was like like i was just like <sighs> like i couldn't breathe like my body was shaking i felt like it was strange but afterwards i was like it's okay you are doing great you are okay it's okay you can't feel this way it was hard and like i gave myself the validation that i wanted you know but i didn't know i wanted i wanted from somebody else in reality i just wanted from myself like i want myself to know that i was doing okay you know and after i cry that day and i cry the next day and i cry a few days later i was like it's okay it's okay like it is okay you don't have to be silent anymore you can let yourself be and freely express yourself and it helped me a lot it really helped me because i just feel like i was holding that inside and i didn't know what to do with it and now I feel peace somewhat because I'm becoming more self-aware and mindful. Like, I feel so grateful. I really do. Everything that happened taught me so much about myself, this life, and the type of people that are out there. And that's beautiful, man. That really is. So... If you have to cry for a while and tell yourself it is okay, things will be better, do it. What are you waiting for? Let yourself be free. Be vulnerable with yourself. Because sometimes it's hard. It really is. I'm telling you. But you got it. You have always got it. This whole time you were battering and cheering for yourself. And sometimes you did put yourself down, but you get, you brought yourself up again. And I'm proud of you because that takes a lot of balls. It really does. And I am happy that you're here. You matter. You're love. You're kind. You're smart. You're wonderful, you're special, you're amazing and great, and all these things, you are all that. Tell yourself that, because you are. I had to remind myself, just remind yourself of what you are. Because just like you tell yourself you are, you, you are dumb, you, you're this and that, <laughs> like, okay, what's, what's the point of that? What is it? Tell me. What's the angle? Just to make yourself fall into a deeper hole. For what? You're wasting... No, you're investing that time incorrectly. You should be lifting yourself up. Or just being vulnerable and crying and letting things go. So you can make space for new memories and experience and, and people and, and parts of yourself that you don't even know. Try something new. What are you waiting for? Time is going to pass regardless. So might as well just make the best out of it. Or even just make just nothing out of it. Relax. Let yourself be lazy. And and just relax. And feel peace. And meditate. And just go outside. And just lay in the grass. But be careful with the ticks. They are, um, they're out here. Um and just be present man watch the bears the bear sings and like here you guys hear this like i don't know if you guys can hear but 
You can hear uh, birds singing in the background. And also, watch ants just walk around. Like, I'm telling you, I've been into this point of my life where, like, I really love life. I really do. Like, I'm glad that I'm here. I can't believe I wanted to in my life at some point. But I'm here today. And I go outside and look at ants just walking around. I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. And just look up just bees just just po- like pollinating with the my the grass that we have to cut because <laughs> it's so tall um but yeah it's just like we are alive and we we're so lucky life is i'm telling you there's a lot of bad things happening in your life but life is great and it can be bad sometimes and that's also okay and celebrate yourself you're doing amazing you really are and i'm proud of you i wish i can tell you this in person but i can't so you know thank you thank you for listening and taking your time to be here with me because sometimes we all feel alone you know we just want to be heard and seen and feel value, you know, and appreciate it. But we just have to do that for ourselves as well. Well, I hope you continue to to wake up every day and remind yourself of the amazing person that you are and the things that are happening in your life that are great. I hope you see the greatness in your life and although there will be a lot of obstacles you know you will overcome them i know you will i'm proud of you kiddo thank you for listening bye i love you